Hello guys, welcome once again to One Life One Chance and as always we're going to be playing a classic console game and seeing how long we can last off One Life only. Now you can see the camera in the corner, guess what? You get the pleasure of looking at my face every single video now. So lucky you! But no, all seriousness, we're playing a really really good game today. We're going to be playing Donkey Kong Country the original. Now I haven't played this the whole way through before, so I'm pretty excited. This is an epic game. And graphically, it's really, really good. It's just something that I've been lazy to get to. Storyline is simple. You play Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong, and you've got to get your horde of bananas back from King Cool and his minions. And that's about it. Really, this game has got a simple storyline, and in the end, it's all about traveling the land with some awesome gameplay involved. Now, the buttons are very, very simple. You've got a jump button, and you've got a barrel roll button. Uh, if you use them right, you can eliminate pretty much most of the enemies in that way, um, you just got to be careful they don't hit you when you're not using a special move, otherwise you're going to lose the life. And that's a bad thing considering this is all about one life, one chance. And uh, you control both uh, Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong at the same time. I can't remember if you can pick which character's the lead character or not. Oh yeah, you press select and then you can pick one or the other. Um, Diddy Kong, by the way, fun fact, is the nephew of Donkey Kong, not the son like I originally assumed. So I learned something from that. Um, but as you can see straight away, graphically this game looks amazing, both with the backgrounds and, uh, just the sprites and everything. I mean, it just has such an immersive feel. Super Nintendo really went all out and, uh, pushed the hardware to its limits bringing out a game like this. Genesis definitely couldn't bring something like this out without the use of, uh, a 32X or a Sega CD. So this game looks absolutely amazing. And what's more amazing is uh, it doesn't skip a beat either, honestly. Uh, the frame rate is just absolutely perfect in this. The controls are incredibly responsive. And, uh, you know, already I can tell with limited experience, this would be one of the top-notch platform games of, of all time. And, I mean, deservedly so. I mean, there's been so many sequels to this, spin-offs. Um, they've just done everything right with this franchise. And it doesn't take more than two minutes to know how addictive the gameplay is and uh, just how good it looks and, and just, you can just see straight away it's a whole package and uh, I've got to be careful here because I got hit straight away and I've got to pay attention technically uh, you lose a life when both Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong are gone so I've got to just try and make uh, Diddy survive for as long as possible here be a bit, bit more careful hopefully we can find Donkey Kong somewhere here because I unlocked Diddy from a barrel maybe I can find Ah, uh, here we go. We can unlock him from in here by the looks of it. Good, so we got our uncle back, so we'll survive for a little bit longer. This is great. Um, much like Crash Bandicoot or Mario Brothers, you collect a whole pile of bananas. I assume you... I don't know what you get when you collect 100 bananas, actually. Maybe you get a life or a power-up or something. If we stay alive long enough, we might work that out as we go along. As I said, you can tell I haven't played this much, and uh, I know it's probably blasphemy for classic gamers, but there's always going to be something that you don't end up getting to, and I've, I've played thousands, if not tens of thousands of games, and it's just unfortunate that this one wasn't a big part of my childhood, but again, that comes down to the fact, guys, that I was playing Sega Genesis more, and I got onto the Super Nintendo late. And then by the time I had a Super Nintendo, I was already playing... Uh, PlayStation 1, really, actually. I probably only had Super Nintendo a couple months before we got one. But anyway, so yeah, I guess you could say uh, I was playing Crash Bandicoot instead of this. And oh, damn, that's a life gone already. <laughs> well, guys, it's short and sweet, but that was Donkey Kong Country, and it's an absolutely fantastic game. I highly recommend you play it, and I can't wait to try the other ones in the franchise. Thank you so much for joining us, and if you like what we do, please share, subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you next time.